New at 10 shattered in six seconds. That's how long it took for Decatur police to confront, shoot, and kill Steve Perkins. Tonight, tensions ran high at the Decatur City Council meeting with the packed house anticipating information on the determination hearings of the officers involved in the deadly shooting of Steve Perkins. Despite our push for answers tonight, officials didn't give us a new update, except that the determination hearings have gotten underway. Wait, they don't Manny McCaffrey was in Decatur following all of this for us as it unfolded and joins us live now. Yeah, hi, Nikkel. Tonight's council meeting let out around nine with public comments taking three hours. A lot of people voicing their anger with how slow everything is going in terms of when we'll find out any information on the discipline that the officers involved could face. A lot of people came here tonight expecting to hear from Mayor Tab Bowling about the determination hearings, but he was nowhere in sight. How did you get the information about... Uh, the findings. I'm not gonna answer that question. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm, 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 I'm gonna take them there. They can then see that recommendation, have a hearing, and then decide if he wants to terminate or not terminate so-called officers. Correct or not correct? To my understanding, that is correct. So when you told an eventful three hours of public comments for Decatur City leaders as people aired their frustrations of having to come week after week to demand justice for Steve Perkins. Many people stepped up to the mic to question Councilman Hunter Pepper for his email sent to leaders last week supporting the officers involved in the deadly shooting of Steve Perkins. Cheryl Perkins, the cousin of Steve Perkins, spoke to the council showing them a photo of his grave site. She shared that Steve's mother is struggling not having any answers. She's hurting enough. And she needs justice. We all need justice for Steve. Christmas is coming up. Christmas is coming up. She can't talk to Steve. Cheryl says her family is begging for transparency about what happened to their loved one. And we hearing, I don't know if it's true or not, but it's coming from somewhere. That it's no body cam, that they cut, cut their body cam off. So we want to know why we can't see the body cam, why his mom, his wife, and his brother and sister cannot see the body cam. Tonight, Councilman Jacob Bladner says the determination hearings could be finished by tomorrow, but there's no guarantee with that. We will, of course, stay on top of it and bring you any update as soon as we learn on what could happen to the officers involved in the deadly shooting of Steve Perkins. Live in Decatur with coverage you can count on, Maddie McCaffrey, Way 31 News.